biggest baby haul ever. So these will definitely be for next year. I could not buy these, not what I usually go for. How freaking cute are these jeans? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I have like the biggest baby haul ever. Ever. So it's actually quite funny because this video is thankfully sponsored by Pat Pat. Now it's actually weird because I made these two orders about two weeks ago and then they contacted me about a day or two later after I made my second order saying they wanted to work with me. So this video wasn't going to be working with Pat Pat and but now it is. So thank you Pat Pat for sponsoring this video. They contacted me and they were like, oh I'd love to work with you and I was like, oh it's quite funny because I've just made an order from you and then we made everything else like the agreement and the collaboration deals and stuff. This video is sponsored by Pat Pat and I am so excited to be showing off the things I got from them today because I am so in love with the things I ordered from them. Unfortunately, most of the places that I usually shop from like Asda, Sainsbury's, Next and things like that are always sort of the sizes that I want of Mabel's clothing. So I thought to myself, oh you know what, I've worked with Pat Pat before and I really love their stuff. So I decided to go on their website again and I had so many cute things and I ordered so much. Like I spent so much money on the website, it's crazy. So I've actually ordered things in 9 to 12 and things in 12 to 18 because they're the next two sizes for me able to go into and once I ordered my first order from Pat Pat I went on again and there were so many more things that I wanted to order so I have a range of things that are 9 to 12 and 12 to 18 so let's get straight into it because there is so much to show you okay so I sectioned it off into different piles I've got t-shirts and trousers separately and then I have actual sets and full outfits at the back there and then I have accessories and then I have shoes because I've actually ordered from shoes from Pat Pat because I've never tried their shoes before and I've also never tried their accessories before so I wanted to try like every single aspect of everything to review for you guys so I'm gonna start off with the trousers because I think that's one of the smaller uh, group of things so I will start off what I ordered in my first order so in my first order I bought quite a few different things because obviously recently in the UK it's been very hot so I decided to order some shorts so these were the first pair of shorts I went for I'll put the price up here somewhere when talking about them but these are the first shorts I went for I brought these in six to nine because she is in desperate need of some shorts right now and the good thing is about these shorts is Mabel is a midget I don't think people understand how small Mabel is until they've actually seen her in person Mabel is a very petite tiny baby and she's also quite skinny as well. She's not like a proper chubby baby like I've seen at baby mum groups. Like she's a proper skinny baby. Sometimes she do, she is a little bit smaller than she is normally for her clothes. So like she's about to turn nine months old, but she is nowhere near ready to go into nine to twelve clothes. Such so as Mabel's little best friend Willow is already like borderline twelve to eighteen. She's only seven months old. So Mabel is a very small baby. So these shorts I think are going to last her for quite a while over the summer. So I bought them in six to nine because she was in desperate need of some right now. Because I never really thought about buying fine baby shorts. And then Caitlin. Made Mentioned to me like oh my god I needed some shorts so these are the first pair I bought now I actually ordered from two sections from Papa I ordered from the baby section I ordered from the toddler section so these ones are actually from the baby section these are the next pair and this pair is actually from the toddler section as you can probably tell because they're quite large and these are in size 9 to 12 now for me these come across very large for 9 to 12 and I'm not gonna lie to you I think these are gonna be for Mabel next year now I think this is like a normal size for 9 to 12 but Mabel is so tiny, like I said, that I think these will be used next year. So these are gonna go in storage for now, but they are so freaking cute. They have little like lions and horses and tigers and elephants. And I think it's so freaking cute. Like white is one of my favorite colors on Mabel. The only problem is now she is starting to eat. It's a little bit difficult to wear white with her. These are another thing I ordered. There are these little like Harlem trousers and I bought these, I think in 12 to 18. No, I bought these in 18 to 24 months because these are one of my, came in several different colours. These trousers did. I've got another pair right here in a separate colour. But these white ones were one of my favourite colours out of all of them. And this was the only size they had. So these will definitely be for next year in autumn time, I guess. I absolutely love these. I think they're so freaking cute. One thing I do mention though is the tag is put on the outside of the trousers on these two pairs of trousers. I've not seen them on any other pair of trousers, just this certain style of trouser. The tag comes on the outside, so I do need to cut that off and get rid of it. This is gonna be so cute with like a plain white t shirt and a little bow, but that is another thing I bought. Like I said, I also got them in another color, I also got them in navy. Now, I actually got these navy ones in 9 to 12, I think. So, I got these ones that are actually classed as black in 6 to 9 because they are quite big. I think they are a tiny bit big for Mabel right now, but like I said, Mabel is a very small baby, so this is average 6 to 9 sizing. Mabel's gonna have to wait a little bit longer to wear these ones. What I like about them is that they're thin, and because they're thin and they're great for summer on the slightly cooler days but not to the point where you need like joggers on. I thought these were really really good because 
I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually really don't like baby leggings, which I know is like a shocker, but I really don't like baby leggings. Like they're so weird looking on babies. I would rather put Mabel in joggers or actual proper trousers than leggings. So they were like an alternative to leggings rather than just joggers and they're slightly thinner, which is 10 times better. Now from my second order, I ordered even more like Harlem like trousers. So these are the first ones that I got. Um, I haven't got a tag on these ones, which is very annoying, but I think I got these ones in 12 to 18. These are blue, which I love the colour of these trousers so freaking much. And they have this little embroidered white pattern on. It, it looks embroidered, but it's not. Um, and it's got like little flowers on and stuff, which I thought was so freaking cute for nursery with a plain white top or something. So that was another pair I got. I also got them in pink. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this pink is a lot- oh wait, the tag fell off. Oh, okay, so the tag's here on the blue ones, and um, they're actually classed as light green, I got them in 12 to 18. But these are the pink ones that I got from the same section, just in a different colour, and I got these ones in 12 to 18. And this pink colour is very bright, this is not a pink colour I would usually pick. Um, to be honest with you, I think I just wanted to order something pink, because I feel like I don't dress Mabel in very much pink, because I generally just don't like the colour on her. I think she's definitely a blue girl and not a pink one. Um, but I still think these trousers are very cute nevertheless, and I do think you can like like D girly them if that makes sense. I think if you wear it with a white t-shirt and some Dot Martens or something, I think they'll be hella hella cute. And then the last trousery item I got were actually some jeans. Like Mabel hasn't had jeans yet. I did buy jeans when I found out she was a girl, but she's never wore them when they were in zero to three and um, they kind of went to the charity shop. But I ordered some more jeans and they look like this. How freaking cute are these jeans? I bought these jeans in size nine to 12, but I think Mabel is not gonna be wearing these until she's possibly even a year old. I think she's gonna be slightly over year well by the time she's wearing these because they are very large but I think they are average 9 to 12 size I think they are a little bit bigger uh, because obviously that's the look of them but what I was thinking was when she because she has really short legs if I just cuffed the ankles because around the waist I think they're gonna fit fine but I think they're just gonna be a little bit long on her legs because maybe has very short legs so I'm just gonna cuff the ankle but these jeans are so so cute it's actually unreal i couldn't believe when i was scrolling through like i know i wanted to get mabel some jeans soon she hasn't actually wore jeans yet like i said because i don't really like the idea of her being in jeans because i know jeans aren't the comfortable things to wear so i thought you know what while she's not walking i'm just gonna put her in jogging and then obviously once she does start walking i bought some jeans for her there'll be a haul coming soon of everything i bought since lockdown was lifted and there are more jeans in that haul but i've recently started buying more jeans for her ready for the upcoming autumn winter time when hopefully she'll be walking so yeah, that's a pair of jeans I got, which I thought were freaking adorable. So that is all the trousers that I got. So now I'm going to go on to t-shirts to show you what kind of t-shirts I got to go with some of these items. So the first one I've got, she's actually already wore. So do excuse the fact that it has got a slight bit of orange on it. But this is the first thing I got. This is a little white t-shirt. I'm pretty sure, because the tag's already been taken off, that I got this in 9 to 12, potentially even 12 to 18. I think it may even be 12 to 18. But I got this plain white t-shirt because... I really wanted like a plainer t-shirt to go with some of the more patterned trousers that I bought and I thought this is a really good one to go with some of the plainer items. They don't have plain white t-shirts on Pat Pat, um, I actually did find some in other places but this t-shirt is still cute nevertheless, I like the fact that it's still got something on it so it still could go with a plain pair of trousers and still look hella hella cute. The next t-shirt I got is again something I wouldn't usually go for but I thought was hella hella cute is this. Now I love the colour of this t-shirt so so much and it said I am fine thanks. How about you? I thought that was hella hella cute to go with the jeans or with some trousers or some joggers. And this is a 9 to 12, but I think Mabel won't be wearing this until she's slightly older. Another t-shirt I got was this one. I am in love with this t-shirt. This is the kind of t-shirt that I would wear. But it looks like this. And I thought this was so cute because this looked like a thrifted t-shirt if it was slightly dirtier. And I just thought it looked so freaking cute. So that is another t-shirt I got for her. The last t-shirt I got for her was this one. This is my absolute favourite t-shirt, I think. Look at the pattern on this. It's so, like, I love of Mabel in blue. I will say this over and over again. Mabel in blue is one of my favourite things and this shade of blue is so cute and the pattern on it is just so adorable with the little bear and the little fish and then little triangles on it. I thought this was hella cute and I think I got this in rather 18 to 24 months or maybe in 12 to 18 I'm not 100% sure but that is another t-shirt I thought was really cute and the last t-shirty thing I got was actually this jumper now this jumper is not something I would usually buy as you can see it's very bright <laughs> not something I'd usually get but I actually bought something that you'll see in a minute in the set section that I thought this would look really really cute underneath so I got this in 12 to 18 months um, and I thought this was so cute I got this from the toddler section along with all them t-shirts 
shirts I got from the toddler section as well. But I just thought this was so cute. And this is so nicely made. It's actually mad. I thought when I, because I know obviously sometimes with the cheaper websites, you're always wary of what the quality is going to be like. But honestly, the quality of this jumper is mad. I absolutely love this. It's got really long arms. And obviously, maybe it's got quite short arms, so they don't have to be rolled. But I thought that was so cute. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. So that is another thing I got. So now on to sets. Now, when I say sets, I rather mean something that came with a t-shirt and trousers or something that is rather like a full-on bodysuit dress or romper. So I will start off with the actual two pieces. So the first two piece I got was these trousers that come with a matching t-shirt that's actually in the wash, but they're like little linen material and I love the look of this kind of style of clothing. It looks like, um, if you're in England, like a muslin cloth, like it looks like that, but like it looks like a similar texture. It's like a linen-y looking texture. It's not linen because it's not made out of linen, but it's a similar concept of what it looks like and I absolutely love it. It came with a matching t-shirt and I got this in 12 to 18 just because I thought it was a really cute chilling at home kind of outfit and it was another alternative to leggings. Like I said, hate leggings. I thought these trousers were hella hella cute and it wasn't expensive either and it comes in so many colours. Another set I got was something that I thought was so cute because um, me and Beth have so many pairs of shorts that looks like this. So I got this in 12 to 18 months and it comes with these little baby shorts which actually they look like the pair of shorts that me and Beth wear all the time at night time so I thought oh my god she could be matching with us so it comes with these little green shorts and it comes with this striped t-shirt with little buttons on and this was in the colour apricot so if you want to order the same colour as me this is the colour apricot and I thought this was hella cute with the matching shorts I thought that would be such a cute little chilling at home outfit so that is another thing I got two other things I got that are kind of more nighttime kind of things are these two baby grows now obviously over summer she weren't wearing baby grows very often but when I was scrolling through like the set section I came across these baby grows that actually don't have sleeves which I thought on the cooler because they're really thin like they're that linen material that I showed you a minute ago they looked hella cute this one's actually six to nine but it is I think gonna, not gonna fit her anytime soon because Mabel's a midget like I said and I got this one in 9 to 12. So I got this pink one, which is also, once again, a very bright pink, not a colour I'd usually go for. But I thought, why the heck not? They're cheap, they're cute, they're amazing. So they've got short sleeves, which I thought would be nice for the like the slightly cooler but still hot kind of days and i also got it in blue like i said but this one's in six to nine so you can kind of start wearing this one whenever but it is still very big on her so that is another thing i got i also got two little rompers that i thought were so freaking cute so this is the first one that i got it's actually in nine to twelve i think this one is the color black and it's in nine to twelve i wouldn't call this color black like in person it looks a little bit more navy than black like it's quite like a really dark navy and i just thought the buttons on this were so freaking cute i actually got two of these but another one is in the wash i've got a light blue version of this that is the same color as this bow in six to nine she's actually already wore it i will insert a picture here of what she looks like in it but i thought these rompers were so cute and they were like three or four pounds they were dead cheap and they are like probably one of the best quality things along with that jumper that i've bought like the quality of these rompers are actually amazing so if you're looking for some cute rompers that are in plainer colours, go to Pat Pat. They have so many colours. They have pink, blue. I think they even have a green. I'm not 100% sure. But the rompers from here is so freaking cute. To go along with the rompers, I also bought her this baby grow, which is like a, a rompery baby grow. It's got dinosaurs on it. I thought this was really, really cute because the only thing I will say about Pat Pat is this is personal preference. It's not to do with Pat Pat. The girl section is very, very girly. Like it's got a lot of bright things on it, pinks, bows, all sorts. I definitely prefer the boy section on Pat Pat for like rompers and stuff so i did get this dinosaur romper which i absolutely love and i got this in 9 to 12 as well which i thought was so cute and then i, I actually bought something that i thought i would actually never buy for mabel and it is this little peach rompery bardo kind of thing and i got this in size 9 to 12 the only thing i don't like about this is this ruffle at the top i wish it was just the pattern because i absolutely love this peach pattern i've actually just ordered myself some bedding that's got a similar pattern on it and this was so cute like i said the only thing that kind of ruins it for me is the ruffles but that's because i don't like frou frou fru ruffle kind of thing on my little girl this is still a really nice little piece nevertheless and then the last like little rompery thing i bought was this little lemon one which i thought was so cute because like this lemon pattern seems to be coming really in right now even in the women's section i see this lemon pattern everywhere and i thought this was really really cute it's got little pom-poms around the ankles 
And it also comes with a matching hair bow, which is really nice because you know how much I like my hair bows on Mabel. She actually already has a similar thing that's got little like um, roses on it that's got pom poms around it as well. And I actually got this one in six to nine, but she won't fit in this right now because she's still very tiny. And then I also got this denim dungaree thing. Now this is what I was on about earlier, this little denim dungaree. I got this in size 12 to 18 and it looks like this. And I thought this would look so cute over the top of that, like if it was really cold one day this over the top of that little knitted rainbow hoodie I thought that would look so freaking cute over the top of it or even with just a normal plain t-shirt underneath it I thought this would be so cute for little Miss Mabel for nursery so that is another thing that I got and the last thing I got in like outfit slash set things was this dress now I don't usually buy dresses for Mabel but I thought once obviously it comes to around her birthday time there's going to be quite a few parties going on so like Halloween and everything like that I thought this little black dress would be so freaking cute I think Mabel looks so good in like really harsh colours. I was always one of them people when I was pregnant like, oh I would never put my baby in harsh colours or da 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 but Mabel has like the complexion to be able to pull off them harsher colours which is why I buy so many dark colours for her and this black dress when I saw it I thought oh my god this is so cute. It's like got this absolutely beautiful lace pattern in it, it's got little pom poms around the edge of it and I just thought this dress was so beautiful and it wasn't expensive either. I got this in 1220 I think and it is in the colour black and I thought this was so freaking cute. So before I show you shoes I thought I'd show you accessories because I actually specifically bought some socks to go with this dress that I thought was so cute. So I actually bought these little thigh-high little cat socks to go with that dress that I thought looked so cute with some shoes that I bought as well. So I got them in white and I also got them in grey because if I didn't want like that much of a harsh contrast between the white and the black, I could put them with grey. And I also thought they're just like they're so cheap. Why the heck not get them in like every single colour? I didn't get them in black only because I put personally didn't like the black ones um, I just got them in grey and white but I absolutely love these socks and they're such good quality like they're really good quality socks they're nice and thick so I bought them socks specifically to go with that dress which I thought was so cute I also bought a set of three rainbow socks. These little black ones with little rainbow stripes on. This came in a set of three, by the way. Some little grey ones that also had the rainbow stripe on. And then I also have the white ones that have the rainbow stripe on. I thought these would look so cute if she wore their mum jeans with, like, the cuffed hem with these socks. Like, I wear mine, like. And I thought we could be matching their little mum jeans and show off little crazy socks. So that's what I bought them for. And they weren't expensive, that set of three, either. I thought they were hella cute. And then I bought Mabel a ton of of little hair accessories. So I'll start off with the thin bows that I've actually already been using. So as you guys know, Mabel actually has already a lot of bows. There are certain shades of things she doesn't have. So I bought some bows and some certain shades that I needed but didn't have. So the first one is this little nudie coloured one. I think these were like £1.50 each or something. So I will definitely be ordering some more soon. But the first one was this little nude one. I thought this one would be so cute with any kind of coloured outfit because it's such a nude colour. It could go with anything. So that's the first one. The second one is this little little ginger. I think this colour is actually called ginger on the website. She's already wore this several times as you can probably tell because the bow has been stretched. I thought this was so cute to go with some of the certain coloured outfits she has that doesn't have a specific bow. What I like about these bows is this little headpiece isn't harsh. Like it feels like tight material. It stretches so well and what my worry was is buying thin straps was the fact that it was going to dig into the head. But this one's so stretchy it doesn't do that which I really like. I also bought this one a slightly darker colour to go with some of the darker outfits. That looks really cute. And then I bought this blue one to go with the blue romper that I bought because it just goes so well it's a matching colour and she doesn't have any blue bows and she has quite a lot of blue outfits so I thought this blue would be so cute and then I bought two kind of donuty looking things so the first one I bought was this like headband one that had a little like pattern on it that I thought would be so cute it was like a dark coloured outfit like a plain black or a plain white outfit she could wear this little donut bow which I thought was so cute and Mabel already has quite a few of these little like head um, hat things with the donuts on she has like a navy one a purple one a yellow one but I wanted to buy a, a nude colour one to go with any colour of outfit and I love it I think it looks so freaking cute and I think it will look cute with so many of the outfits that I bought today so that is all the outfits and the accessories now on to shoes so i bought mabel four pairs of shoes because she just needs some so <laughs> the first pair i bought were these little 
fake vans. These look exactly like my vans that I have. Now I struggled with the sizing on Pat Pat, I'm not gonna lie with shoes because I'm, I'm not used to baby shoes so I didn't understand it. But I brought these little white and black vans in size two and Mabel has really big feet and these fit her really well and they have squishy bottoms, there's nothing to worry about, they're still baby shoes, um, which I really like. So she has these little vans that I thought it looked so cute with some of her outfits because all the shoes she has are like brown and plain. So I brought some like crazy looking ones, which I, something I wouldn't usually buy, but I thought these were so cute so I bought them. Now, now I also bought these little trainers. Now, oh my god, I saw these trainers online. And I thought, oh my god, I need these. These are so freaking cute. Now, these shoes are still quite big for her. She won't be able to fit in these anytime soon. But what I like about them is they have a squishy bottom. Now, I've heard, I don't know if it's true, I don't know if it's a myth, but you shouldn't put babies in hard bottom shoes until they're attempting to walk because it's bad for their feet or something. So Mabel has never wore hard bottom shoes. These ones are still quite big for her. She won't fit in these for a while, but they're still hard, which obviously is for when they're older. And I thought these trainers were so cute. They came in so many different colors, but I bought them in yellow because it's a color that she didn't have in shoes. They're another pair of shoes that I bought. And I don't know what size I bought them in to be completely honest with you, so I do apologize. But then I bought two pairs of shoes that are actual shoes. Like they have hard bottoms and they're for like when she's properly walking, which is why I bought them in a much bigger size. So, the first pair of shoes I got was some fake baby Doc Martens, and they look like this. How cute are they? So, I don't know what sizes are in again, but these are some fake little Doc Martens. They have a zip along the side, which will make them easier to do up on the babies. And I thought these Doc Martens would be so cute with this little black dress and the cat socks like I showed you. And I just thought, oh my god, she needs these to match me. The reason why I haven't bought her real Doc Martens is because I don't know what size shoes she's going to be in. And I think these were like £7. So I thought, you know, if I buy some cheap ones, it doesn't matter if she's too big for them when she gets to walking. Because I'll buy some real Doc Martens then. But I thought I'd buy some fake ones while I know, don't know what size shoes she's going to be in. So they were some little Doc Martens I got. And then the last thing in this whole entire haul are some other little shoes for Mabel. And they are these little brown once again fake dot martini looking shoes i thought these were so cute i couldn't not buy these every single time i shop for mabel like in an actual store you can always see the shoe section and i always see little shoes like this for little girls and i was like the minute mabel can walk i'm gonna get her some of these shoes because i think these are so freaking cute for winter like i cannot with these shoes so i bought her these thinking they were so adorable and i absolutely love them so that is everything in this haul for today if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up hit the big red subscribe button down below if you guys would like to make a purchase from pat pat don't forget to use my code for some money off and yeah check out my social media is us me underscore jill and i will see you guys in the next one bye my child has woken up just in time as i finish this video Yay! Say hi! I wasn't in this video because I was sleeping the whole time, but see you next time! Bye! Bye!